Hey, what's up everybody? Today is a good day. I just say that today is a very good day. So I, ever since I bought my, my truck, uh, it, it's been like, what, eight, nine months now, I have been dreaming to build it into one of these. And that's the biggest reason why I'm kind of hanging on with all these DEF and PCM issues, because I know that I can fix them and I can build this. And in my opinion, this is the ultimate truck. This is the most capable truck all around that you could, that you could ask for. Let me show you why this thing is so cool. Um, what's unique about this compared to other like, you know, just lifted trucks. I'll make my case as to why I think this is the most capable all-around truck on the planet. And I'll also talk to you about the Achilles heel of this truck towards the end of the video. So let's flip it around and start looking through this thing. What makes these things so cool is that AV builds them basically from the factory. So everything's under warranty. It's, it's, like, it's like a factory truck. Um, and the parts are just very, very well engineered. Um, so just it rides amazing it handles amazing it's going to be reliable just the same you're not mixing matching parts basically you know what i mean and this one right here has every, like almost everything on it that you could get in this package so obviously it has the 40 inch wheels with the 17 inch catla wheels these are 13 and a half inches wide and they're kind of set out nicely so even though you have this like a five inch thick fender flare they just line up perfectly and it looks so clean and finished now what's cool about these is that this is only a three inch lift. They have this type of bracket that um, as they lift it, it actually moves the axle forwards 1.6 inches. So you fit the 40 and you don't, and you have all the clearance um, and, and then they obviously they cut it out bigger. Um, so you can clear 40s up to 41s without rubbing. So you can see this thing has like, on that side panel is probably about two if you don't include the step on the bottom just the panel because steps are optional it's probably about 26 inches off the ground to the bottom to the bottom of the white right there um and with the step included you're probably running like 23 inches of ground clearance one thing that this is missing um this is like the normal aev lift um it uses uh, it's a bilstein 5100 series shock you can get an 8100 series shock. It has like a external reservoir. I'd get that for sure if I was gonna do it. Um, but this is 5100 series shock. Now, one thing I'll say real quick too before we just walk around the truck is that one thing that's also cool about these is that there's no impact. Like this lift, it reuses the right parts from the truck and just adds some other stuff. So you don't lose any towing or payload capacity. Um, a lot of times when you lift a truck up and get these big old off-road shocks, the way that it, you know, it, it actually hurts the payload capacity. You squat a lot more and it makes a tr truck a little bit less functional, but it looks better. Um, this one though, you have the same payload, same towing capacity, but it still rides better. Um, and of course it's going to offer it a lot better as well. So, um, one reason I love this is cause yeah, this truck right here, I mean, with the forties, that's an insane amount of departure angle, tons of breakover angle. The approach angle is insane as well. And you can still tell. So not only do you have like a really impressive breakover, uh, you know, departure angle and breakover angle, but not aside from the angle, the distance is really big. So, you know, there's cars that have like a, you know, maybe even a bit better breakover angle, but it's like really low. You only can handle a boulder that's that big to come off of. You can come off a huge boulder with this before you would ever hit anything with it, right? So that's really important. And um, and uh, same thing with the front here, right? Yeah, there's probably vehicles that have a bit better. The Raptor might even have a bit better approach angle possibly, but it doesn't have the distance there, right? So you can't handle as big of a boulder in a Raptor as you could in in this Prospector XL. A couple cool things. This bumper, it's a nice bumper. It's like stamped steel. It's only only, only, only one like it. Um, and you kind of keep your, your fog lights. You can get upgraded ones too if you wanted to. Um, these right here are, are pretty nice. These lights in the front, this housing, it's metal, which I think is really, really cool. So this is like a fire, this is like some kind of like a, a composite right here, but these are all metal housing, which I think is pretty awesome. And uh, guys tell me that they have just tons of candle power on these things. So very, very nice looking. Comes with a winch from the factory. It's a worn synthetic winch. That's right, there's the specs on it. Got the built-in tow hooks. And um, I mean, it's just gorgeous. It's just such a menacing truck. So 
Now, one thing that's cool too that I did not know from all my online research of these things as I was planning my build out was on the back bumper. These are actually plastic. Um, it's made out of the same material as like that kayaks are made out of. And it's, it's like, it's meant to be just a breakaway piece. Um, and you know, this, these bumpers are, these, these bars are incredibly sturdy and they're meant to tank, to take all the hit, but this is meant, it's like a secondary, it's just meant to just kind of just break out of the way, um, and not and to protect the body. And then it's a cheap part to replace. So I actually did not know that that was plastic initially. And then this is all metal and that's all metal. So got some fog lights there, tow hooks. Yeah, two and a half inch receiver on these ones as well. And the spare tire in the back. That just looks, that looks way cool. So. This is how much this bad boy costs, 117,000 bucks. So 80 grand for the vehicle. The base price for this Prospector XL package is 21 grand. But then you have um, the brush guards extra, the full size spares extra, tire mounts extra, the winch is extra, lights are extra, Bumper lights are extra, power steps are extra, the tip extension, brand new package, the skid plates extra, shipping, total AV, stock price, 117, which is actually pretty crazy. I expected when I heard that price that there'd be a dealer markup, but there's not. <laughs> so yeah, it might be, a, maybe it'll be a bit longer than I thought to, <laughs> to, to get this truck, but definitely I'm gonna get this truck someday. Um, but it's, this is a Laramie, has a black interior. I am partial to the tan and brown, to the, where by building my own, I could kind of keep that, but still, I still probably black everything else out on the exterior just because it looks so cool. The Achilles heel of this truck um, is this. It has a deaf system on it. I, as you guys know from my channel, I'm having deaf and PCM issues right now, but the PCM issues are related to the deaf system, I'm pretty sure is what people tell me, so. This is probably the best rig you could ask for to go like, you know, backwoods. Like you can get out of anything with the 40s, the winches, like the ground clearance. Like it'd be so hard to get stuck in this truck, but then it might just not start sometime. <laughs> like what happened to me, might just wouldn't start for an hour. And if, then I had to, I had 150 miles of, of, of distance, right? So that's the Achilles heel is that the diesels are not what they used to be because of the emissions regulations. So obviously if you could live in a place where you could delete that, then that'll probably be a good idea before going too crazy. I'll figure it out when I build mine. I'll figure it out. I'll go to some crazy places. I'll make, I'll fit, you know, I'll make it work, and then I'll delete it when I can, because Utah does allow to delete if you live in a rural area, which I do. And so I would delete the emissions, and then it's going to be just an amazing, reliable vehicle, what the Cummins is used to be and, and what they're known for. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the walk around, the up close look at this beautiful truck. Please subscribe for more.